five, four, three, two, one, fire. The nuclear bomb. A creation that changed the world from a simple theory of some atomic reactions to explosions! Well, among the scientists who created this was a man named Niels Bohr, a Danish physicist who worked with others to create this massive explosion. Bohr was born on October 7th, 1885, in Copenhagen, Denmark. His family consisted of his father, Christian Bohr, who was a physiology expert at the University of Copenhagen, and his mother, Ellen Adler Bohr, who was a prominent Jewish family member, and his brother, Harold Bohr, who became a mathematician. After Bohr received his PhD at the University of Copenhagen, he studied with Ernest Rutherford. It was then that he created his model of the atom and proposed the idea that an atom releases a photon as it drops from a higher energy state to a lower energy state. In 1912, he married Margaret Norland. They had a loving life together, despite the fact that he postponed their honeymoon for one week while he finished his paper on the atom. His marriage functioned by Margaret's patience for him, along with her own intelligence and interests. While she had no education in physics, she did help him type papers and entertain other physicists when they came to visit. She was familiar with the physics lingo, and Niels always respected her opinion. In their time together, they had six children, two of which died young. The eldest, Christian Bohr, died at 17 in a horrible sailing accident. Oh, God. Ah, look away. The other... Harold Bohr died at 10 from brain damage. In the year 1920, Bohr became the head of the Institute for Physics at the University of Copenhagen. Bohr was a remarkable at bringing young minds to his institute in Copenhagen and funded the stay in Copenhagen for those that needed it. In 1922, he received his Nobel Prize in physics for his services in the investigation of the structure of atoms and the radiation emanating from them. In 1943, Bohr and his family left to Copenhagen to flee from the Nazis because of his Jewish heritage. February 1944, Niels and his son Age came to Los Alamos, New Mexico. Yeah. It was there that the two joined the Manhattan Project, creating WMDs, or Weapons of Mass Destruction. <laughs> After the war was finished, Bohr went back home in Copenhagen, where he resumed his work in the Institute. He later died in Copenhagen in 1962. Niels Bohr was a fanatical physicist who extended the work of the atomic theory with his research of the atom. He left behind the Bohr model of the atom, which he named quite creatively. It was with this that we have an understanding of how energizing an atom, and then releasing that energy, allows that energy to be released as photons. This research leads to the creation and understanding of many new forms of technology, some even still being developed today. Take it to the fridge. Yeah.